What's up, everybody? I'm Kerry Hart. And You're on Pain TV. What's up, guys? Welcome to Pain TV, brought to you by Hart and Huntington, Niagara. You should check them out. Go down, ask for the pain special. You can get a free piercing with the purchase of jewelry. I don't see how you can go wrong with that. Plus, they got a ton of great artists down there. So, uh, just go out and check them out. Or check them out online at heartandhuntingtonniagara.com. Yes. We are here with our first episode of Promote the Promoter. So, we're here with Andrew Timperio from Project Pain. You guys all know him. Without him, there wouldn't be any Pain TV. <laughs> but, uh, what's up, Andrew? Oh, you know, just, uh, having a few pops with, uh, with you. <laughs> it's a good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Tell people a little bit how you got started in this uh, promoting business. Well, uh, probably about 2003, um, I was in a metal band called Section 8, and there were a few prominent metal bands around at the time, one of them being Nangari. Fucking sick. If you never heard of them, go back and try to find Nangari online, because they were the shit. They were the shit. But anyway, um, there was Bathed in Blood, Section 8, Nangari, Drop That Birth, a few, I was Senate, and uh, like a bunch of us just working together, playing shows, and uh, uh, Jordan Nangari from Nangari, uh, him and I decided to start a promo company called Niagara Metal, and just work together promoting shows for the metal bands around the falls, and uh, at some point, uh, Jordan moved out of town, his band broke up, my band broke up, uh, some time went by where I wasn't doing anything, and I realized how bad I missed putting on shows as much as playing them. So um, I think probably around 2007 I got started full force with Project Pain and uh, and didn't just limit it to metal. Just started doing everything. Anything I could book, I did book. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you were probably the first, well, that I noticed other than, I remember the Got Flow shows, they put on the hip-hop right, shows. Right, right. And then uh, I know, how did you get into putting on the hip-hop shows too? How did you hear about, like, how did you notice the hip-hop scene in the falls? And something that I've mentioned quite a few times in interviews and, and, and just with talking to people is how Niagara Falls is a unique area because everybody is friends with everyone else, and there's such a great mutual respect between metal and hip-hop. I mean, the first time I met Cac, was, Cac himself, one of our pain boys, uh, first time I met him was at uh, a Bathe in Blood show, like, and uh, we hit it off really, really easily, and and it blew me away to see a diehard hip hop fan at a death metal show and digging it. He dug it, and he had all the guys in the band were his friends. And to boot, Matt Grabon from uh, Bathe in Blood wearing a cack himself hat, busting out crazy fucking death metal. Like something about that really spoke to me, and uh, just the mutual respect and uh, the the family that's bigger than the genres. You know, it's just everybody's friends, and. Uh, Everyone was friends with everybody else, and I, I figured, what the hell? Let's let's embody everything in in Niagara music and and start promoting it. You know, that's about it. <laughs> Shout out to the cat himself, our hip hop correspondent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, with all the shows you've put on, St. Catharines, Niagara, you've had a ton of different venues. Yeah. Uh, what would you say was your favorite show, personally? I would have to say the one that sticks out in my mind the most uh, is the first time I had the Daglow abortions in Niagara Falls because that was my first major name booking. I did book Three Inches of Blood prior to that, but they canceled part of their tour, so unfortunately we lost out on that show. But um, what I liked the most about the first Daglow show is that uh, it was my first real experience with um, a famous Canadian band as well as... It was like the first true test of what I was doing. I felt like I accomplished something because I made them happy. I had a full venue. Everything went well. And, and on top of that, uh, I had my, my buddy Scotty, who's not with us anymore, he was there for that show. And he was so stoked that day. <laughs> like I, I can remember having a bunch of beers at his, at his house the afternoon of that show, shaving a big-ass mohawk in his head, and, uh, <laughs> and just being stoked that we were going to see the Daglo abortions and hang out with them. <laughs> So that, that one sticks out of my mind quite a bit. It was a very, very cool show. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, are your plans for 2011? We're, well, it's kind of halfway through, but yeah. what do you have going on for the rest of this year? 
Uh, well, we're continuing to do the psychotic Sunday nights at DJ's. Every Sunday night at DJ's pub, we've got either punk metal or hip hop, or sorry, punk metal or hardcore. Hip hop night was already taken. Otherwise, we would be doing that too. But uh, it's psychotic Sundays, punk metal, hardcore, hard rock, um, and occasionally um, gruesome movie night. <laughs> we're uh, we're doing movies that you uh, you normally will not see in a in a. a Outside of your house, pretty much. It's uh, underground, B-rated, extremely gory films. But um, So that's one thing going on. Um, what else? Uh, I'm still struggling with, the, with Niagara Falls being completely uncooperative and having an all-ages venue. So I'm really toying with the idea of getting my own venue because we, we need a place for good concerts in Niagara Falls. Bottom line is it's a bunch of bars. 19 plus strictly it's impossible to have a music culture in a city like this that will not cooperate in anything that I'm trying to do so you know doing shows at bars is fun but you can only go so far with a 19 plus crowd famous bands are not I mean, you're not going to fill a 19 plus uh, crowd and be able to pay a famous band coming through this city it has to be all ages or you know that's it just won't work uh, you know it's, it's Got to get the kids out to the show. Exactly. I mean, how are we going to turn a bunch of uh, younger kids into the next generation of drinking metalheads <laughs> if they can't get out to see the metal? <laughs> so, but yeah. So, my, I'm really hoping to have my own venue someday. Hopefully, sooner than later. This year. Yeah, that'd be that'd be. <laughs> I, that would be ideal. Mighty fucking nice, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Negger Music Awards are coming up. Yeah, I, you won last year, promoter of the year. <laughs> I uh, I still have to make my way out to Port Colborne to pick up my uh, submission forms, but um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go again. Why not? Um, you know, it took some time, a, a little bit of time off, not being and not as active as the year before, but um, I think I'm, I'm making up for it in, in uh, quality. And uh, the 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 series at DJs is is always going to be free, no cover show. It's all about exposure for the band. So I'm hoping that. That makes a good impression because it's more so about getting bands noticed than worrying about the whole money bullshit. It's like just get bands in, get them seen, get people to like them, and uh, do it every fucking Sunday. <laughs> it's been getting busier and busier. Too. True, true. Yeah, especially with the weather getting better. Like our turnouts have increasingly got better. Like there was a couple nights there where it was, you know, minus twenty degrees, and uh, turnout wasn't the greatest, but uh, understandably so. It was cold as fuck out there, but. Yeah, it's getting better. For so sure. You have your. You also have uh, annual shows that you put on. Mm -hmm. You have the uh, like the Dimebag tribute show. Yep. Metal Fest, which is coming up. Dates. Uh, that would be May fourteenth and fifteenth, uh, I believe. Thirty bands. Unfortunately, because it's Niagara Falls, it's nineteen plus, but it's still going to be just nutty. Um, last year's Metal Fest, the debut of the of that show was incredible, huge success. A lot of people, just all around good time. Um, this year's going to be even better, I think. You know, that's, um, aside from that, we've got uh, this Sunday coming up, March, or sorry, April 17th. Is, uh, it's at DJ's, but it's our, our fourth annual 420 Blaze Fest. For those who like the, uh, come on out and have a party with us. Um, what else we got? Like you said, the, the Dime Bag Show every December. It's to pay tribute to... As far as I'm concerned, the best goddamn guitar god that ever existed. <laughs> the guy's amazing, and uh, we're not we're never gonna stop showing tribute to him every year. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's I think that's it for annuals. I yeah. Uh, yeah yeah that's pretty much it. But you know, a couple of really big shows a year. Oh sorry, my Halloween show every year. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Hello, that one's uh, like uh, one of the best. It's it's <laughs> without a doubt the biggest show in Niagara Falls for the whole year. Like. Hands down, like we've been doing it for what five, six years now, and it's just huge every year. Always so. a good thing. Oh yeah, the best <laughs> night. I mean, you got people dressed up like the freaks they are. So, you know, they're. I think last year I changed <laughs> costumes three times. <laughs> hey, that's fun, man. Anything you can do to, to make it a good time, fuck, do it up. It was. It was a great time. Mm. So, and the, oh, sorry. No, the no, other, go the ahead, other good go thing about um, shows like the Halloween show and 420 Blaze Fest is that we we get a chance to do a mixed bill. We got some hip hop, we got some punk, we got some rock, we got some metal. We we vary up the bill to have a mixed genre show, a little something for everybody, much bigger crowd for it. And like I said, Niagara Falls is, I think it's the only place I've ever seen that has a, a, a music culture where everyone has mutual respect. 
you know, there's no beefing uh, amongst genres. It's not like somebody shit talking rap on the patio while a rapper's playing inside and and then the metal band goes on and the rapper's like, oh, fuck these guys. It's not like that at all in Niagara Falls. It's just everybody's, it's all about the love. (laughs) It is. Yeah. And it's awesome. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to, I don't know, I took some time to work in St. Catharines, the whole Mikado thing, and noticed the definite difference between St. Catharines and Niagara Falls. Not to say it's a bad thing, it's just different. It is different. Yeah. All right, so where are we checking out Project Pain? Uh, that would be search Project Pain Productions on Facebook for the group page. Uh, my uh, Facebook.com slash Project Pain Productions for the artist page. Um, Facebook.com slash Pain Television. Um, the YouTube link, I forget what that one is. Uh, it's youtube.com slash VBM Productions. <laughs> right, that's what it is. Okay. That's for um, all the pain TV episodes in case you want to take them out. <laughs> and just shameless plug, my band w- <laughs> is uh, www.facebook.com slash Desolation Canada. And MySpace, you got the MySpace. Yeah, but my does anybody ever check that shit out? <laughs> for lack of a better expression, my pay- MySpace fucking sucks now. <laughs> um, we have one, but it's still like, the blank yeah. template page because nothing's cool about MySpace anymore. <laughs> but uh, you know, sorry, MySpace, I hate to shit on you, but you did it to yourself. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think that's all of the links. And I've been saying this for a while, and I've been trying to get it worked on for a long time. ProjectPain.ca will be up soon. God damn it! <laughs> Having a very hard time with this website, but it'll be ready soon. All right, awesome. Thanks for checking out Pain TV, Promote the Promoter, Episode 1. Thanks for coming by, Andrew. No problem. Let's drink some beers. Fuck yeah. Cheers. Perfect timing.